Hi everybody, I'm Angela Pirelli with EXP Realty and today we are talking to Corinne from St. John's Music. She's the manager here. This is a very well established business in the city, all sorts of things that they offer musically and I'm going to let Corinne tell us a little bit more about that. So thank you so much for taking the time, I appreciate it. Not, not a problem. It. So yes, tell me a little bit more about St. John's, obviously what you guys have to offer. It's very broad. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness, yes. Well, a lot of people don't know how the company actually started. Yes. Very interesting. We're actually from Winnipeg, from an area called St. John's. A lot of people figure, oh, it must be from the East Coast, yeah. St. John's Music. No, no, it was from an area just outside of the Forks called St. John's in Winnipeg. And we actually started as a general store and post office. As the years kind of progressed, we got more and more musical instruments, and then eventually it just organically became a music store. <laughs> No way! That's it's, bizarre. That's why I'm like, most people don't know how we started. <laughs> no! That's amazing, I love that. Okay. So then we actually opened the first store here in 1984. We were down on second. Eventually it moved to Broadway in 1988. So yeah. we've been here for about 33 years in this location. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of funny, every now and then we're like, oh, maybe we should move to a different location. I'm like, no one will be able to find us. We've been here for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, actually, you know exactly where it is. It's like, and exactly. Broadway, yeah, don't go too far, you can't turn in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's kind of us and how we started. We do a lot of school band rentals, which is what mm -hmm. mostly what we're known for. We carry a lot of the band instruments. What most people don't realize or they don't associate with us is that we do have guitars and drums and like we're a full service music store. Mm -hmm. But most people think of us as the band instrument store, which is it's always kind of fun when people come in and they go, wait a second, you guys have a drums? <laughs> So that, that's always yeah. kind of amusing. When people are starting band, developing a rapport with your local music store is invaluable. We're here for, you know, suggestions and you kind of come in and you go, I don't know, I just I can't hit that one note. We'll take the time and go, okay, well, let's see you try and hit that note. Oh, it's an embouchure problem or it's, it's the way you're blowing and, oh, cool. you know, if you yeah. do this. We want people to succeed, you know, and we try our best to kind of get them there. No, that makes sense for sure. So just walking the store, you do see a variety of things. Like I see, obviously, the music books, all that <laughs> sort of stuff. So I'm assuming you have music books for teaching or music books just for, like, different mm -hmm. artists or playing. Absolutely. We have quite a few music books, which is really nice. But mostly piano, that's always the big thing. And then we've got quite a few of the Royal Conservatory books with guitar as well. We're a little low on the books by artists. So has there been a demand <laughs> on musical instruments and stuff as well? Are people actually putting some money into that? Or is it just that the parts aren't there to really... Kind of both. It okay. started off when everything first shut down. I think people kind of realized, whoa, wait a second, we're going to be locked in our houses for who knows how long. So, <laughs> so there was kind of a run on beginner guitars and piano. And, and that sort of thing. Things have kind of calmed down in that area, but then you get people who come in and they go, okay, well, I want to buy this random item that you would have to special order. And it's like, okay, well, it's going to be about six to eight months. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they yeah. go, well, no, I want it now. And I'm like, <laughs> but nobody can. That's exactly. Okay. But I mean, what is in store? It's just different too to actually pick it up, feel it. And the mentality in the music world, other than something like a piano, when it comes to band instruments and when it comes to guitars, we usually say like, buy what you try. So if you're trying a guitar and you love that sound, buy that guitar. You're dealing with live materials, like wood shifts and breathes, and they're all going to behave slightly point. differently. And I mean, even the band instruments, they might be put together differently, you know? And so we always say, okay, you like the sound of that one, you have to buy that one. Well, even yeah. something as simple as guitar, if you're starting out, people don't realize how much it hurts to begin. And you know, so if you can come in, you can sit down, you can find one where it's like, I mean, it's not going to be like, you know, yeah. Right yeah. Now, but if it's got some comfort to it, it's not a really hard string to push. If you yeah. get something that's too hard, you're going to give up. Yes, definitely. So, you know, you've got to... And for people who are worried about that, we usually suggest starting with like classical guitar because the strings are a little more forgiving. It's perfectly fine to research online. Definitely. You know, take that's, the time yes. to research and go, oh, there are this many options out there. Yeah. And then when you do come in to actually try it, you kind of have a better idea of what you're looking at. We have no problem explaining things to people and go, okay, well, this is what this does and this is what this does. But if you come in already knowing, then you kind of look around and you're like, that, that is the one right there. Smart. That's a very good point. So are there any other details about the store that maybe we haven't touched on that you would like people to know about? Well, we started carrying the acoustic pianos and the digital pianos in October 2019. So a few months before right. the world <laughs> shut down. Which was fantastic, but a little yeah. frustrating. So yeah. we, at no point did we ever get to do like an official release. So we have become the Yamaha Piano Center. The entire back of the store is pianos. One day, when the world goes back to normal, we'd like to do an actual release where people can come in. Yeah. Oh, they do have pianos. 
bad at the moment. <laughs> there we go. If you missed it before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's good to know. I really appreciate it. It's good to learn a little bit more. And definitely, if you can get in, come and check it out. It's just different being here in person with the hands-on elements. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. And thanks for watching.